Barn owls are a very important bird species located throughout the agricultural settings in Delaware. Uh, they consume hundreds and thousands of rodents every year throughout the state, reducing the rodent population around areas where we really don't want them. All right, what we'll be doing is uh, bagging the bird and then we're, we'll be handling the bird by um, aging them and getting the weight and banding the bird as well. First of all, we, ha we, need, to, uh, we need to block the entrance of, of the box, the nesting box. And then we go in, capture the owls, uh, take them out, collect data on weight, age, and sex. Five fifty. Yeah. See, there's a little down on its feather on the head, so it's probably like about eight weeks old from this chart. So back on our chart, about four, four and a half. This one has a scale of about probably maybe three and a half, or, or maybe four, three and a half to four. So it's a good indication that's probably a female. Then um, band them. These are our U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service bands. And they're um, individually numbered so that if anybody catches the bird somewhere else or finds it somewhere, they'll be able to track the number down through a, a database that the Fish and Wildlife Service has. Um, and we'll be able to track movements as far as migration patterns and home range and habitat use and things like that. Well, their feet are, are the size they're going to be at this age so that you can go ahead and ban them. So there's no fear that. I put this band on him and then he's going to grow and it's going to get too tight. They're, they're what they are going to be and that's why they look awfully big. He hasn't grown into them yet. You want to make sure it moves but it's not too loose that it's going to fall off or it's going to come half off. So this is good. He's good to go. Or she. Well here in Delaware we usually check them once a year during the nesting season right about this time of the year. We caught, actually in this box, we caught four uh, that we think are probably females from the color patterns on the owls. Uh, they're all between uh, seven and a half to eight weeks old, which means they'll probably be flying in another couple weeks. The weights are uh, uh, about, um, I'm thinking about 700 grams altogether, and uh, which means that for the age of the bird, they're pretty healthy, so they're getting fed very well. Barn owls are uh, basically declining in population size throughout its, its entire range. There are many potential reasons for the decline. We don't really have a good idea of exactly one reason that would be causing it at this point. However, from the data we're collecting from the Delaware Breeding Bird Atlas, we can begin to ask those questions in some of those areas where we've seen declines in barn owls as to why they are no longer present. It could be things such as loss of nesting habitat, reduced rodent populations, changes in the surrounding habitat in areas where they would nest, or human disturbance. They uh, primarily, in Delaware, they, they primarily feed in the marshlands, although they can uh, uh, feed in, in meadow type habitats and pasture land. Without humans, they would naturally nest in like hollow trees. But uh, they found it uh, easy to nest inside old barn lofts and in silos and things like that. Oh, it, it varies from year to year, but primarily I, I, I banned uh, up to about 100 young birds each year. Actually, we started banding the birds in 1992. We started putting up nesting structures about 1987 or so. Well, we, we get a lot of valuable information from banding the birds. We get uh, migratory patterns. We get an idea of dispersion of the birds. And if we capture individual birds more than one time, we get an idea of home range. Well, the barn owl is really valuable uh, they, to have around your land because they eat thousands of small mammals. Um, they don't prey on any desirable species like uh, game species or anything like that. They primarily eat small mammals like mice and voles and rats. One uh, brood of uh, barn owls can eat several thousand small mammals in one nesting season. 
Well, the average lifespan is about a year and a half, but uh, they've been known to live up to like 11 or 12 years. The owl banding that Wayne Lehman has been doing for multiple years here has actually given us a lot of great data for the breeding bird atlas. His sites reduced the amount of time we had to spend in the field actually looking for barn owls, first of all. Second of all, it also provided with repeated records year to year that barn owls were inhabiting the same places uh, over that five year period. In addition, uh, the information collected from banding helps us determine what their productivity is, their survival rate, site fidelity, how many years they use the same nesting site, uh, movements, home ranges, and a lot of other important things that we really need to know in order to conserve barn owls in the future. Whatever, I don't care. You don't have anything really for me to eat. Alright buddy, eat in the bag you do.